Hello, welcome to another series of Chat with Dr. Mercy O'Mary. If you have been following us, you would have noticed that we just rounded up with the transitioning series. I want to use this opportunity to thank everyone who has subscribed so far. And if you're here watching and you haven't subscribed, this is the time to hit the subscribe button and also click on the noti notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. I said, we have just wrapped up with the transitioning series. And in this series, I featured a lot of important people where they talked about different things about transitioning as an international student, transitioning as a young person, whether it's also just transitioning in any phase of your life. Each of this video will be a blessing to you. Please take the time to go back and listen to them. And today, I just want to cap up with the transitioning series by sharing a message that is so important to me. You see, during your transitioning period, it can get overwhelming and you're so neck deep in your experience that sometimes you don't even see what's going on around you. I just want to encourage you that no matter what phase in your transitioning journey you are in life, do not forget to live life. I'll say that again, no matter what phase you are in your transitioning journey in life, do not forget to live life. I'll give you an example of an experience that changed my life forever. In 2017, April precisely, seven years ago, while I was going through my graduate program in the US at um, Wichita State University, TEDx came to Wichita State. For those of you who know, TEDx Talk is a huge deal. It's a big deal. I think some organizers got a franchise for TEDx to come to Wichita State. And at the time, an announcement had gone out that people who wanted to give a TEDx Talk should send in their proposals. By this time, I had been following the TEDx TEDx Talk on YouTube. So I know how huge it is. And I know so many people who have been featured on TEDx Talk. It didn't look like I was one of the people they were looking for. In fact, when I was thinking about writing the proposal, I asked myself, I said, what new invention do I have? You know, what is that big thing I have done to change the world? And I remember then saying, well, I may not have invented any big thing, but I think that I have a story to tell, a story of inspiration, a story that might just touch somebody to believe that they can be anything they want to be in life. And so I submitted my proposal and in that proposal, I just told a story, a brief story of my life, starting from when I started as a young person to where I was at the time as a graduate student. There were thousands of proposals that were submitted, but only six were selected. And guess what? I was one of the people who was selected. And you see, I went on to give that TEDx talk. It was a whole thing. We had directors, we had lighting people, we had stage managers. It was like a whole production. And we even had speech experts, you know, work with us to deliver that message. And we had to produce this 18 minutes video that will be put on the, on the YouTube, um, on the TEDx YouTube. That experience changed my life. It made me know that even while we're going through our transitioning journey, even while we're still in that journey, we might have a lesson of hope, a lesson of resilience to share with the world. And, and that is exactly what that my story did. When that story was posted, I was shocked, right? It was posted on YouTube in the, in your first year, there were like 500 views on my particular talk. And to tell you the truth, I was excited. I said, 500 views. Who are these 500 people? But you know, when I checked just yesterday, there are over 7,300 views on that my story. Seven, more than 7,000 people have listened to that story. And I know that people have been inspired because I have received messages just from that TEDx talk. I have, people have stopped me and said, hello, I saw your TEDx video and that's how I got to know you. See, transitioning is not easy. There will be challenges, 
Sometimes it can be overwhelming. I'm not telling you something I haven't been through. But I tell you, if we can just lift our heads up, you might just be shocked at who you can bless by the story of your resilience, by the story of what you're going through. And so that is how I, that is the message I want to leave with you today. As you go through that transitioning journey, just know that there is somebody who is also wanting to be where you are and your story might just impact the person. Don't be quiet. Tell that story. If you have an, uh, an Instagram page or you have any social media platform, don't be afraid to share your story. Don't be afraid to share your nuggets. You never know who you might be impacting or whose life you might be changing. I want to let you know that life can be lived even as we go through different phases, right? You can still impact people as you go through different phases. Thank you for everyone who has been with me even through this particular phase. I'm also going through another phase right now. As you can see, I have braces on. I just got it last week and I'm trying to learn to speak through these braces. It's a new phase for me and I just want to tell you how excited I am. I am very excited because I know that as we keep putting one leg in front of the other, we keep getting better. As we keep putting one leg in front of the other, we keep seeing that things will surely, surely get better. Like I said in my TEDx video, you have everything in you to be who you want to be. Thank you very much. Keep listening, share, comment, and I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.